Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Macclesfield Canal and I'm just walking towards the top of Bosley Locks. So before we go any farther, let's have a look at the map. The walk starts at the yellow marker at the top of the map, the walk start point, which is between bridges 52 and 53. We then follow the Macclesfield Canal onwards to Bosley Lock Flight and then we'll walk past all 12 of the Bosley Locks and then on to the Dane Aqueduct. The orange line on the map was the feeder channel from Bosley Reservoir. We're still a fair distance away from the lock flight and right along here is where visiting boats will tend to moor up either to wait in order to go down through the lock flight or to rest after they've just come up the flight. There's plenty of good moorings along here, though it can get quite busy at certain times. And after a bit we will come to some long-term moorings, so visitors won't be able to stop there. This is where the long-term moorings begin, from about this point onwards, and Bridge 53 is fairly a short distance up ahead. Here's bridge 53 up ahead and immediately this side of it there's a water point that anyone can use. On the other side of Bridge 53 there are some more long-term moorings. And then, just before the locks begin, there's room here for about two visiting boats to wait to go down the lock flight. The problem is, though, is that you don't know whether there's going to be any space here until you've actually got here. So you may not be able to stop. So I thoroughly recommend that you don't come down here at all until you're ready to go through the locks. Just in front of us here on the right is another water point and what happens is you tend to get visiting boats coming down for the locks, find they can't moor up and then they moor on the water point and that stops other boats from using it. The building to the left of the lock there is the boaters facilities and you can go down that little channel on the left and moor up on the other side of it and you've got Elsan, water, rubbish disposal and I think there's washing machines there as well. And here we are at the top lock. There's 12 locks in total. They're all pretty close together and the rise or the fall is 118 feet. However, due to water shortages, the locks are chained shut at the moment. They're only open at certain times of the day and this is an evening walk so the locks are all closed up. The wooden structure there is where the rubbish bins are kept. They're not normally locked up, but you will need your waterways key to access the other facilities here.
There is a bit of a gap between lock 1 and lock 2, but all of the rest of the locks are all very close together, and there's no mooring allowed in this flight. All of the locks along here have side pounds, which hold a bit of extra water. Well, that's lock two. There's a lot of locks, so this could get a bit boring, I'm afraid. I decided that I would video the walk along the locks rather than my cruise through them, because frankly it's going to be really hard work to do these on my own. Uh, but fortunately, as it turned out, I did have a lot of help from the volunteer lock keepers who made things very easy for me. So, a big thank you to them for all their help. As you can see, the lock landings aren't very good. This could be quite difficult on my own. I hope I get some help when I come down here.
When I came up the flight last year, lock six, the top gates on it were leaking very badly and I had to keep my boat well back from them to stop it from being flooded. But fortunately that's all been fixed now and this lock wasn't too bad. Water should be flowing over the top of that. It's a bit low. The lower locks are really quite pretty. That hill there is known as the Bosley Cloud. I walked up there once, it's in one of my previous videos. That was really hard work.
So there's 12 locks, and this is lock 11 in front of me, and this one's chained up as well. They let you come in to lock 12, which is below it, because you can turn around there. Then you've got to go back down again. It's a real nuisance because I'd quite like to probably come through here one evening on my own, nice and quiet, but I can't do that. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is where you turn your boat around. Bridge 56A here is part of an old disused railway line. I'll be really glad when I get down here. Cool. Someone's left the gates open though. Look at that. Although sometimes they do swing open on their own. I can't believe it was up there, really. There's lots of two day visitor moorings below the locks, so that's often quite busy down here. And there's no facilities or anything whatsoever. It's a really quite an isolated spot, so people just tend to stop here waiting to go up the locks. These railings mark the aqueduct that crosses over the River Dane. It's quite a large structure, but you can't see anything at all, really, from the canal. It's a long way down. So I'm going to try and get a better view of the aqueduct for you. You need to nip through the hedge right here. Let's have a look down here if it's not too overgrown. Get a better view of the aqueduct. These are things I can't do when I'm cruising along. This is where I remember that my shoes are quite slippy.
an enormous structure, this aqueduct. You just can't see it from the canal. The viewpoint is very limited, but it's quite an impressive structure. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you've enjoyed this little walk. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.